I welcome you all tonight in the precious name of Jesus. Escaping curses and walking in liberty. I believe that this will be part three because part one was first service, part two was second service, and this will be part three. Our objective is to understand the origin of the origin of curses, to understand also the basis of deliverance. This subject is a very, very serious subject because what is called curses is a major plague in Africa. I watched three boys from one mother. The first one, an Amraba, killed on the road while robbing. Second one, robber, killed on the road while robbing. Third one, arm robber, killed on the road while robbing. Three children, boys, from one mother. From one mother. Someone sent me a text message as I preached on these courses yesterday and he said I should please help pray for them. Three men married into a family. All crashed after marrying. They were doing fine before. Crashed. Different reasons for crashing. Curses. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 and 14. He said, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Be made a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. That we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. We defined curses yesterday. Maybe I'll go through it because I made some definitions in the second service. I said that a curse is a cycle of negativity, adversity, calamity, either upon a person or upon a family. Second, a curse is a force of empowerment. Unto failure, reproach, delay, sorrow, or frustration. Somebody is powered to fail. Empowered unto delay. Thirdly, we say that a curse is a sentence unto pain. Unto harm. Unto discomfort or disadvantage. A sentence unto pain. Fourth, a curse is a dressing of disfavor. A dressing of rejection. A dressing of misfortune. A dressing of disappointment. When you see a cursed person in weird disfavor, weird rejection, weird misfortune. Number five, a curse is a force of hindrance, limitation, or resistance. It's a force of hindrance, limitation, or resistance. Number six, a curse is a plague of trouble, a plague of problems, a plague of distresses. A life drowning with problems. Number seven. The curse is a climate of hardship. An atmosphere of scarcity. This is where near success syndrome occurs. This is where somebody is, 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 has breakthroughs that are only in the realm of the dream. Nothing good happens in the physical. It's a, a climate of hardship. An atmosphere of scarcity. And then... Number eight, a curse is a spell of non-productivity and fruitlessness. It is typical with, of labor without reward, struggle without returns. The spell of non-productivity. Yesterday we saw the origin of curses. Personal iniquity or wickedness. We saw parental iniquity or wickedness. And to be aware of what we do with our children, do because of our children. Number three, occult, occultic and witchcraft involvement occultic and witchcraft involvement 
and then number four divinations and enchantments we looked, at, we looked at all that yesterday. Now, today we are going to look at basis for deliverance. Basis and then the way to deliverance. Basis of deliverance. What do we have to... What basis do we have to expect to be delivered? Number one, by virtue of creation, deliverance is expected by virtue of creation Genesis 1 27 to 28 so God created man in his own image in the image of God created he him male and female created he them and God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. Now, we stop there. And God blessed them. By virtue of creation. I want to use a more forceful word. By virtue of creation, deliverance is mandatory. I prefer that word. God bless them. The meaning of that is God blessed you before your father cursed you. The meaning of that is the blessing predates the curse. The blessing precedes the curse. The meaning is light existed before darkness came. Darkness came too late. The transactions of your mother and the transactions of your father and the transactions of your ancestors that implicated you came after you have been blessed. You can make demands on creation's blessing to terminate the cause. I am saying all this so you can have understanding. It was as if food existed before hunger arrived. And the hunger came too late. The first thing that was mentioned between blessing and curses in the Bible was the blessing. So by virtue of creation, deliverance is mandatory. Number two, by virtue of the covenant, deliverance is mandatory. The covenant. The Abrahamic covenant. Abraham, in Genesis chapter 12, now before we read Genesis chapter 12, let's, let's look at Genesis chapter 11 verse 26 to 32. And Terah lived 70 years. And begat Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Now these are the generations of Terah. Terah begat Abram, Nahor, and Haran. How many children did Terah have? Three. First born, Abram. Next born, Nahor. And the third one, Haran. And Haran became the father of who? Lot. Haran began Lot. And Haran died before his father. Somebody say abomination. abomination. Child dying before father. Is it a blessing? Let's read on. And Haran died. That is Lord's father. Died before his father. Terah. In the land of his nativity. In the awe of the Chaldees. And Abraham and Nahor took wife. The name of Abraham's wife was Sarai and the name of Nahor's wife was Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah and the father of Iscah. But Sarai was barren. She had no child. Another challenge. Empty handedness. We are talking of this Abraham's family. Go ahead. And Terah took Abraham his son and Lot, the son of his, of Haran, his son's son, 
Sarah, his daughter-in-law, his son Abraham's wife, and they went forth with them from the, all the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan, and they came in unto Haran and dwelt there. They were going to Canaan, but they came to Haran, another Haran, that is like the name of the Haran, and dwelt there, and, Terah were, and the days of Terah were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran, instead of reaching Canaan. Can you see a problem in this family? Number one, three problems in Abraham's family. I've said that before. I call it the trinity of calamity. Number one, dying before time. Number two, starting without finishing. And number three, living without relevance. That is, in, if they don't die before time, they must start without finishing. If they don't start without finishing, they will live and their life is of no relevance. Like Nahor. There is nothing written in the Bible about Nahor that is of any significance. He came from Abraham. He's Abraham's brother. But God made a covenant with Abraham and Abraham broke the chin. Broke the jinx. That is why we say by virtue of covenant. And in Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 all the way to verse 5. Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing and I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that cursed thee and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed so Abraham departed as the Lord has spoken unto him. And Lot went with him. And Abraham was 75 years old. When he departed out of Haran. And Abraham took Sarah his wife. Lot his brother's son. And all their substance that they had gathered. And the souls that they had gotten in Haran. And they went forth to go into the land of Canaan. Where his father couldn't reach. And into that land of Canaan. They came. And we are children of Abraham. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Be made a cause for us, for it is written, Curses everyone that hangeth on a tree. That the blessing of Abraham. What was this blessing of Abraham? Breaking generational curses. What was this blessing of Abraham? Surviving where your father couldn't survive. What was this blessing of Abraham? Achieving what your father couldn't achieve. What was this blessing of Abraham? Stopping what stopped your father. Am I, 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 am I speaking to somebody here? I announce to somebody in the name that is above every name. Everything that stopped your father, you shall stop it. That amen is too paralyzed. That amen is too paralyzed. Everything that stops people in your family, you shall stop those things. Shout the loudest, amen. amen. Say after me, I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. I am irresistible. I am irresistible. What we'll stop my fathers? I will stop them. In the name of Jesus, I will go where they couldn't go. I will reach where they couldn't reach. I will do what they couldn't do. Somebody shout power. In case you did not understand Abraham's blessing before, understand it now. That it means you will go where your father couldn't go. You will reach where your father couldn't reach. That what stopped other people in your family cannot stop you. Take your seat. You know, mentality is what determines reality. You need a change of mind to have a change of life. Oh. Everybody watching around the world, because we are connected to all dynamic churches around the world, and people are watching from America and Britain and everywhere. Some of you, the things pursuing you from Nigeria followed you there, and you are seeing yourself in the dream back in your village all the time. While you are living right in, in, in New York and in Baltimore, I take authority over that devil. Tonight is the end of it forever. Everything that links you with your father's house for bad, for evil, today the yoke is broken. Amen. 
take your seat. That's why I said, I said tonight is your night. By virtue of creation, deliverance is mandatory. By virtue of the covenant, deliverance is mandatory. Thirdly, by virtue of the prophetic. You know, we have the law and the prophets. We have the covenant and the prophets. The prophets are the, those that speak into the destiny of God's people and speak into the future. The covenant is God's agreement with his people. The prophetic is the declarations of God into the future of his people. So we have, by virtue of the prophetic, the declared future for God's people, by virtue of that prophetic, deliverance is mandatory. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 20. Hear what he says. The soul that sinneth he shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. Neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him. And the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Now, now earlier on around Deuteronomy he told us that the iniquities of the fathers will be demanded on the children. I'm sure you remember all that to the third and fourth generation. But now he moves forward and he says, look, for those of you who belong to me. What your father did cannot affect you. Satan, you don't belong to me. For those of you who have a connection with me, for those of you who call me your God, for those of you who call me your father, for those of you who call me your, your maker, your father killed, your father was an occultic person. Your father shed human blood. Your, your mother, your mother was, was a water priestess. Your, 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 your father was in the fraternity. Uh, uh, and he was an arm robber, a murderer. And so on and so forth. He said, the righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him. And the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. And devil, if you are looking for the wickedness of my father. And you want to reward me for what my father did. Then go to the grave and meet him. And settle with him there. Hey! Go to the grave and meet him and settle with him there. As for me, I owe the devil. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. And this is Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 29, all the way to verse 30. In those days, they shall say no more. The fathers have eaten a sour grape. And the children's teeth are set on edge. But everyone shall die for his own iniquity. Every man that eateth the sour grape, it is his teeth that shall quit jelly. <laughs> it is his teeth shall be set on edge. His teeth shall quigelize. I'm sure you understand that language. Have you seen that English before? <laughs> Some people from Kogi State will understand that English. I'm from Benway State too. Hallelujah. It's a, how can somebody drink sour orange? And another person's teeth is reacting. <laughs> what kind of technology is that? I, I'm, I'm sure you have taken some orange before and it um, reacted with your teeth and uh, it has to, it visualized your teeth and it, it took a long time before. <laughs> before. Even brushing at times becomes a challenge because the teeth is set on edge. That is the iniquity of that orange. <laughs> the collateral damage <laughs> of, of drinking bad orange. <laughs> the negative consequences. That's the wickedness of the sour orange. Am I communicating? He said that your father did this, your father did that, your father did this, and the devil want to hold you. God said, no more. 
somebody shout no more. Shout it loudest no more. Ay, 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 ay. Stand on your feet and shout no more. Say after me, I own the devil. Nothing. Say devil. If my father and my grandfather and my ancestors are owing you anything, look for them and hold them. I owe you nothing. I owe the devil nothing. I owe the ancestral spirits nothing. I owe the generational demons nothing. I owe the family demons nothing. Somebody shout power. So shall it be. Take your seat. That was why I said you should come back tonight. Are you happy you came? I like this thing to enter your mind. And I like you to be brutal tonight. And we're coming to that. So by virtue of the prophetic, the declared future of God's people, deliverance is mandatory. And finally, number four, by virtue of redemption, deliverance is mandatory. By virtue of redemption. By virtue of redemption, deliverance is mandatory by virtue of redemption. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 to 14. We read it already. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, curse is everyone that hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. First Peter chapter 1 verse 18. First Peter chapter 1 verse 18. He said, First Peter said, For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold, from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. Hold on, go back there. So there are things, whether you like it or not, that fathers pass to children. That is natural. You, some of us, you inherited the look of your father. You inherited the mannerisms of your father or your mother. Maybe you, life, you laugh like him. Maybe your, your, your walking steps are like those of his or, or, or her own. In the same manner, there are some liabilities inherited. Negativity. The things that flowed in the bloodline. For as much as you are connected to their blood. That is what Peter is saying. He said, but you are redeemed. Vain conversation. Conversation means lifestyle. That was traded down to you by your fathers. You were redeemed with the precious blood of Christ. As of a lamb. Without blemish. And without spot. That is you were rescued. From the bloodline of your father's house and rescued and given another bloodline, it's called the blood of Jesus. So, the blood that matters for you now is not your father's blood, it's not your mother's blood, it is the blood of Jesus. And we overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Somebody say thank you for the blood of Jesus. Take your seat. Am I, am I communicating? From your blood, natural bloodline, people don't marry on time. But you now have a spiritual bloodline where you marry whenever it is necessary. 
from your natural bloodline, money is scarce. But you are now connected to a spiritual bloodline. We are the first person that walked with that blood, employed a thief as a treasurer for the abundance of money. And the thief could not finish thiefing the money. From your natural bloodline, people may die before their time. But in this spiritual bloodline, he said, no man taketh my life from me. He said, I had the power to lay it down and I had the power to take it again. And truly when they killed him on the third day, he jacked up. And he said, you didn't kill me, I just gave my life. To sacrifice my life for the sins of the world. Am I communicating at all? From the natural bloodline, people may not give birth to children before their time. No matter how many times the man and his wife had relationship for the sake of children, the children never came. Maybe from your natural bloodline. But from this spiritual bloodline, the man didn't even meet the woman at all. Somebody shout, I am connected to another bloodline. I am connected to another bloodline. Shout power! They say women from Ozichi. Is there a place like that? Oh, Nkano. Oh, Umagu. Eziachi, Umunya. You see a langwa. He correct the nudo. He correct answer. He correct Women from Eket. Oh, Bibio women. Oh, Annan women. Oh, Fik women. Oh, Calabari women. Oh, but Bonny women. Oh, so, so and so men. They don't do this on time. All this happen to them. Then you will tell them, but I am not from Calabari. land was only my port of arrival. <laughs> hey! That was the airport I landed. I landed in Igede land. I landed in Idoma land. I landed in Agatu land. That was, I am not from there. Hey! Ay, 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 my village was just my port of arrival. Where I came from was just my, uh, my port of arrival. At the time, I saw a particular pattern with ministry from where I came from. I see people on fire or in the front, and all of a sudden they are off, either by debt or by anything. I saw many things. I saw many things. There was one that was leading us in the year of 1979. Young firebrand man, revivalist, and he just was cut short under 25. And I had to find out 
Is that pattern correct? Oh, you are there but nothing. Nothing. And one day I was discussing with my father the Lord. Papa Yedepo. I said, see, see, see the pattern I have noticed from where I've come from. He said, but you are not from that place. say but you are not from that place look at seven people around you tell them but you are not from that place you are not from that place I prophesy to somebody you have already escaped you have escaped the calamities the tragedies the adversities the negativities of your father's house of your family of your local government of your state shout yes comes when there is only one person standing you are the one standing in influence standing in audacity standing in authority standing in voice and force shout yes you won't die like your father died you won't die like your mother died you won't like your brothers died, like your sisters died, like your friends died, like somebody you know died. Shot power! Took your seat in the presence of the Lord. Me, myself, I will have to listen to this tape. Because once God has spoken and twice have I heard that power belongs to God. Let us go very quickly. What is the way to deliverance? The way to... Don't worry. You feel free to shout if there is a need. Number one, receive the word. Receive. Psalm 107 verse 20. He sent forth, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions the word of god is a deliverance too deliverance is more affected through word than through pray for me pray for me pray for me he sent this word all the words you've been hearing since you came is to renovate your mentality. To change your thinking. John chapter 8 verse 32. And you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Ye shall know the truth. The truth shall construct you into freedom. Make its manufacture. People used to read that truth shall set you free. It's not, it didn't say set, it, should, it will make you. If you are set, you can be unset. But if you are made, you are made. One truth can just manufacture you onto freedom. A freedom that is irreversible. And those are the truths you have been hearing. That by creation, you were blessed before any cause came. That by the covenant and you are linked to Abraham through the blood. The blessing of Abraham means that Abraham may save the calamities of his father's house. And God told him, get out of your father's house. That is, leave the covering of your father's negative climate. You heard another word. That in the prophetic. Nobody is permitted to drink sour orange. And another person still to be reacting. It's not permitted. Then you heard that you are not from that place. That by crisis shed blood, it, you change families. Yes. 
You sing that song later. I belong to the family of God. Do you remember the song? Am I communicating? We'll sing it soon. The aim of this word is to do three things. Number one, word is light. And light scatters darkness. John chapter 1 verse 1 to 5. Word is light. Light scatters darkness. And what is darkness? The agenda of the devil. And sensual curses are darkness works. Generational curses are works of darkness. Number two, word is truth. John 17, 17, thy word is truth. And you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. When you, when, when the word comes, the truth is you were not there when your father committed any atrocity. The lie of the devil is since your father did it, I will hold you. And the truth comes to scatter the lie. Am I communicating? The truth comes to scatter the lie. And thirdly, word carries force. Job chapter 6 verse 25, he said, how forcible, how forcible are right words. Words carry force. And the force comes to effect motion. The force comes to effect change. Force is the weapon for change. So, receive the word. The word of God. Number two, believe the word. I have spoken to you just now. Believe it. Believe the word. Believe, believe the truth. Believe means agree with it. Stand with the truth. sides with the truth it means agree with the truth side with the truth stand in the truth and finally live in the reality of the truth the reality is I owe the devil nothing the reality is my, I wasn't there when my father did anything. The reality is, the blessing came before the curse. The reality is, because I am a seed of Abraham, if Abraham escaped the negativity of his father's house, me too I have escaped. The reality is, my teeth cannot quigelize for another person's drinkage of orange. For another person's drinkage of orange. <laughs> Am I communicating at all? That's the truth. Side with the truth. Irrespective of any evidence to the contrary. The devil tried to show you death a hundred times. Tell the devil, take your death back. I am not of those who die before time. From the days of John the Baptist till now, the kingdom suffer violence. The violence take it off. I'm coming to that your stand so receive the word believe the word reject the lie the lie of the enemy <laughs> reject the lie refuse the lie of the enemy in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 24 by faith, Moses, when he was come to years, he refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. I am not the son of Pharaoh's daughter. I happen to be found and brought up in Pharaoh's house. I don't know what happened why, when I was born and while I was born and the fact that I am in Pharaoh's house brought up by Pharaoh's daughter. But I am a Jew. I am a Hebrew. 
And she's not a Hebrew. So how can I be the son of a person who is not a Hebrew? I am a Hebrew. Hebrew. And she is not Hebrew. You refuse. You re he rejected. He refused. I refuse to belong to where they say they die before their time. I refuse. Say marriage does not work. My own overwork. You overwork, self. You refuse. Just line up with the truth of scripture and refuse anything that is not in line with it with scripture. Just refuse. And refusing is a force. That was what made Moses to escape. A thousand people can take one horse to the stream. But one million people, in fact, one person can take a horse to the stream. But one million people cannot make it to drink water if he is not convinced. Say, horse drinks, you are on your own. I refuse to look inferior, feel inferior, act inferior anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. I haven't seen one person that makes me feel inferior or timid. I walk with audacity, sagacity. At the London airport, I think two or three weeks ago, a young white boy, Caucasian boy, he stopped and said, excuse me, sir, you are the best well-dressed person that I have seen. Instead of saying I have seen, he said, in a long time. Then he looked at me from head to toe. Look at shoe. Look at him. And then he passed. I said, so what about it? He said, just see the way you are looking. And he just passed. I didn't look extra. I didn't look like it was Christmas. I looked normal. With normal sagacity. Normal audacity. Normal dignity. With something on the inside that says this is not a yeah, yeah man. Hey! It just happens from the inside of you. You refuse to be intimidated. You refuse what the devil said you are. You refuse it. You refuse. You just refuse it. Somebody shout power. Take your seat. Am I speaking to somebody at all? The list that some of you brought tonight would be the list of the things you have refused. You refuse to belong to the devil. That is part of the things to refuse. Let me say two major things to refuse. First, refuse to belong to the devil refuse for the devil to own any part of your life determine that you owe the devil nothing secondly you refuse to agree that no one can escape Say nobody can. Ah, in this family, forget. Or in this village, forget. Nobody ever built a house and finished it. Except you want to die. You refuse to agree that nobody can escape. You tell the devil if it is only one person that escaped, that is this person standing. How many of you know that Cain was cursed? Cain is, was cursed, is always cursed. 
You know when you carry cane, children run. <laughs> yeah, yes, cane is running. It's running. He doesn't want cane. He doesn't want cane. Look at Cain in Genesis chapter 4 verse 9. All the way to verse 12. Genesis 9. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel your brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of your brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now at that cost from the earth, which has opened her mouth, to receive thy brother's blood from your hand, you are cursed. God is cursing Cain. When you till the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto you her strength. A fugitive. That is somebody on the run from the consequences of the law. Then a vagabond, a placeless non-entity, a roamer about, to and fro, to a hooligan. It has, it's a placeless, homeless, addressless personality. Nowhere to locate him. A fugitive and a vagabond shall that be in the earth. That is Jehovah speaking. His voice is heavier than that of Satan. His voice is more serious than that of any native doctor. If a man cost you God can reverse it. If God causes you, who reverses? That was what happened to Cain. Then Cain went back if, to the same God in chapter 13. I'm sorry, verse 13. And Cain said to the Lord, my punishment is greater than me, sir. Please, I'm sorry. Eh? Eh? This thing is too much. You see, I am placeless, a vagabond, in an entity, addressless, locationless, Behold, you have driven me this day from the face of the earth, and from your face I shall be hid. I am not on the earth, I am not in, in your front. I am a fugitive, I am a vagabond, and anybody who sees me can kill me any day. No, sir. And the Lord said unto him, What a, a, a merciful Savior, a merciful Lord. Dear, and the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, even though he slew Abel, anybody who killed Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain in case anybody finding him should kill him. What a God. If Cain could receive deliverance from a curse God placed, there is no curse under heaven that is not reversible. Listen to what happened to Cain. Go to verse 16. Sorry, yes. And Cain went from the presence of the Lord. I'd like you to listen. And dwelt in the land of Nod. On the east of Eden. Cain knew his wife. Vagabond Mary. Hello? He was a vagabond. He was not permitted to sit in one place. For a day, not to talk of getting married. That thing will come on him and say, Stand now, move. Came married, knew his wife, said she conceived. Bear Enoch. The first Enoch in the Bible was the child of Cain. This is not the Enoch that walked with God. This is different. And he builded a city. And call the name of the city after the name of his son. A vagabond said to Sote, he didn't build a house. He's not meant to live in a house. Not to talk of building a house. City Gabadaya. <laughs> and call the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. And unto Enoch was born Irad, and Irad begat Mehujel, and Mehujel begat Methusel, and Methusel begat Lamech. And Lamech took unto him two wives. The name of one was Ada. Uh. <laughs> Wait, maybe it's from uh, Ebony State or Benue State or, or Enugu State or something. Ada, excuse me. And Ada bear Jeba. 
he was the father of such as dwell in tents and of such as have cattle and his brother's name was Jubal he was the father of all that handle the harp and organ and Zyla she bare to Balkan an instructor and every artificer in brass and iron see the fat Cain married and had a lineage he became the progenitor of everybody who is in animal husbandry. And became the father of everybody who is in musicology. Everything music, everything instrument, everything singing. And became the father also of those in materials and metallurgical engineering. Mechanical branch. He became the king that was not meant to sit in one place. Had family, had lineage, had history, had future. If king could survive. I announce to someone here. Whatever is working against your life. Wherever that curse came from. Wherever that enchantment came from, wherever that divination came from, if Cain could survive, you have survived. I said you have survived. I said you have survived. I said you have survived. You have survived. Somebody shout the loudest, Amen. Shout Amen at the top of your voice. Shout the loudest believers, amen. amen. Look at your neighbor, say, if Cain made it, amen. you have made it. If Cain escaped, amen. you have escaped. Amen. Take your seat. Is God speaking to anybody here? Listen, my brothers and my sisters. The aim of this preaching is to, re is to, is to wash your mind. Because there are people who move about permanently with the mentality of everybody failed in my family and the devil is telling you who are you are you more intelligent than your senior brother he even had first class you what was your degree to say you could you tell the devil you are a bastard <laughs> tell them came made it i have made it do you know that there was a problem in the family of judah 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 had problem. You know Judah, the fourth son of Jacob. Reuben was first, had a curse. Simeon second, Levi third. Judah was fourth. It looks like Judah patronized prostitute. <laughs> well, don't think I wanted to disgrace Judah. I have no plan of disgracing Judah. But I saw something in the scripture that sort of implicated Judah. See, Judah was implicated. Genesis 38 verse 13. Genesis 38 verse 13. Genesis, and it was told Tamar, saying, Behold, your father-in-law goeth up to Timnath to share his sheep. That was Judah. And she put her widow's garments off from her and covered her with a veil and wrapped herself and sat in an open place which is by the way to Timnath for she saw that Sheila was grown and she was not given unto him if you want the whole story you can read from the first chapter when Judah saw her he thought her to be an harlot he thought this is an unhallowed because she had covered her face and he turned unto her by the way and said go I beg you let me come in unto thee for he knew not that it was her, his daughter-in-law and she said, what will you give me? That is what is the price of this encounter. That you may come in unto me. That, that's a sinful encounter. And he said, I will send you a kid from the flock. And he said, no, this is the price of prostitution. Will you give me a pledge till you send it? And um, he said, what pledge will I give you? And he said, give me your signet ring like your signature. Your bracelets like your wealth. Your staff like your authority. 
and he gave it to her and came in unto her and she conceived by him the, the question is if judah was not a normal patron of prostitute if he's not it's not normal for him to patronize he wouldn't see a prostitute on the road and say um, how much no so that was judah now the challenge of judah went down the line Notable children of Judah began to have problems with women. One, David. <laughs> now, I, 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 you know David already. I, I don't need to read too much about David to you before you know the, the exploits of David. With Beersheba, the wife of Uriah the Hittite, and so on and so on and so on, until David stood all manner of challenge. That we are one of David's children who loved the David's daughter, Ammon, loved Tamar, raped Tamar, Absalom killed Ammon, ran away, returned back, rebuilt against his father, slept with ten of his father's concubines in the eye of all Israel. Judah is coming. Then, when David passed, another son of Judah arrived. His, his name was who? Solo. <laughs> Solomon multiply the matter. Seven hundred wives. Seven hundred, not seven. Not seventy. Seven hundred. The good, the bad, the ugly, the tall, the short, the slim, the fat, the Indian, the Caucasian, the African, the American, the Japanese, the Indonesian, the everybody. Then 300 concubines. 1,000 in all. That is, if they have three children per person, that is 3,000 children plus 1,000, 4,000. That is like a church congregation. If there was morning devotion, it's a service. Hello. That is why you see some things follow people from their father. Listen. And then Solomon. The Bible describes Solomon in 1 Kings chapter 11 verse 1. That Solomon loved many strange women. Not women. No. There's a difference between woman and strange woman. Strange woman is woman that is too, is too fake to be real. that will almost break the knee. How many of you know that masquerade in our, in our village? That <laughs> that work on stick. Eyelashes on real. Eye pencil on real. Chest on real. Back on real. Side on real. do surgery now to put some of these things there are some the way they walk I see they want to cut themselves It doesn't happen in this church, oh. but in no, it, but in some places, eh? There are those who purposely walk when everybody is seated. <laughs> or go to toilet when everybody is seated. They call it catwalk. I hear what I'm saying. Instead of women, it was his own was strange ones. For him, the stranger, the better. Solo, solo. <laughs> Is that a Solomon? 
Why are you showing him? <laughs> That's a different Solomon. It's a new generation Solomon. <laughs> it's a New Testament Solomon. <laughs> And the challenge was that these straight women turned away Solomon's heart. Please, if you are a lady, calm down. Be normal. Not normal in terms of uh, being lukewarm. Avoid unnecessary strangeness. One of the things that attracted me to my wife was the naturalness. Nothing fake, nothing. When we met each other, you know the local hair platinum, that the that local that very local one that they used to weave with hand, didn't care about anything. So at times I react when I see strange people. Pardon me, please. <laughs> Hallelujah. That was Solomon. Now, Solomon, they, they show somebody. <laughs> Do you know somebody did an artificial something on her chest some time ago? It exploded inside the aircraft. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> that was an expensive guy. Costly. Now, Solomon. That was Solomon. And then Solomon's son, Rehoboam. In 2 Chronicles 11, verse 20 to 23, we began to see his own case, even though he wasn't as um, pro prolific as his father. You know, prolific author. And after he, uh, he took Meaka, the daughter of Absalom, which bear him Abijah and Atai, he's talking about Rehoboam, and Ziza and Shelomith. And Rehoboam loved Meaka, the daughter of Absalom, above all his wives and his concubines, for he took 18 wives. That's Solomon's son. And three score concubines, that's 60. That's right. Beware who born you. But when you become a Christian, it can be broken. And begat 28 sons and three score daughters, that is 60 daughters. And Rehoboam made Abijah the son of Meaka, the chief, to be ruler among his brethren, for he thought to make him king. And he dealt wisely and dispersed of all his children throughout all the countries of Judah and Benjamin, unto every fence city. And he gave them victual in abundance. Now look at the conclusion. And he desired many wives. Desired. That is from Judah. Am I communicating? The number of people in Judah that escaped it were not many until one person came from Judah. His name is Jesus of Nazareth. That one didn't marry at all. Don't say it's because he's God. He came as a man. He was at all points tempted as we are and he was without sin. By the time Jesus finished and they realized that what pulled other people down in Judah couldn't pull him down. It looks like they gathered. And they say you deserve a title. Lion of the tribe of Judah won. Luke chapter, sorry, Revelation chapter 5, verse 1, all the way to verse 5. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seals thereof. And no man in heaven or in earth, neither under the earth was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, because the lion of the tribe of Judah, who came out of the root of David, 
He overcame what overcame David. He overcame what overcame Solomon. He overcame what overcame Abs Absalom. Overcame what overcame Rehoboam. He has prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. Do you know what? The Lion of Judah succeeded. You will succeed. What is most exciting is that you are connected to the to the Judah generation. Through Jesus Christ, you have become a member of that tribe. And by the blood of Jesus, you are connected to. Now, this is exciting. By Abraham, you escaped the calamities of your father's house. Now, through Jesus Christ again, who is your savior? Who is your brother? Who is your relation in the covenant through him? Everything that defeated others in your family, you have defeated it. Say that amen like a believer. Say that amen like a believer. Say that amen like a believer. Look at your neighbor. Say you have overcome. What overcame others? In your family. You have overcome. You have overcome. Somebody shout power. Take your seat. If I stop here, it's already enough. The lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. The lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory again and again. Hallelujah, the lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given us the victory. already take your seat can I go on, go on ahead I will soon that's right if it is possible you will be the last man standing but because of you God will save other members of your family organize this program at this time this week because this is our last revival week and night of science and wonders here because you are shifting level nobody can do the next night vigil in that place the way your life has been before no way 
you see my Jesus, when you see my Jesus, he's the lily of the valley, he's the rose of Sharon. When you see my Jesus, when you see my Jesus, Shout out praise as you take your seat. Now, so first of all, believe the word. Number two, no, sorry, receive the word. Number two, believe the word. Number three, reject the lie. Number four, resist the enemy. You resist the enemy. Resist the enemy. James chapter four and in verse seven. Submit yourselves, therefore. And resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resist the enemy. The book of Matthew chapter 11 verse 12. It said, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered the violence and the violent you need a fighter spirit. A brutal fighting spirit. Satan, I know my right. I owe you nothing. Resist the enemy. You need a fight to take a flight. In case the devil has tied down your life, you fight it brutal at the place of prayer. You fight it brutal with worship. You fight it brutal. I'll talk about some of the fights tomorrow night. To walk in the freedom. And Jacob was left alone. And he wrestled. Genesis 32, 24. My life can't continue like this. Something must change. Until everything changed. His name changed. His capacity changed. The curse was broke. There is no victory without violence. The violent take it by force. You refuse to be refused. Deny to be denied. Reject to be rejected. Resist. Jabez, something followed Jabez from Beth. And in 1st Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9, Jabez prayed, called on the God of his father. And Jabez's story changed and his name was changed. What happened?
happens when we resist the devil? Number one, the enemy cannot withstand those who resist him. He can't. He lacks the power to withstand those who resist. Look at that feeble, slender woman. Refused to hand over her child to death. Turn back the sword of the killer. Back to the killer. Resist the devil, he will flee from you. Second, God supplies strength to those who agree to fight. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 5 to 6. Isaiah 28, 5 to 6. In that day shall the Lord of hosts be for a crown of glory and for a diadem of beauty unto the residue of his people and for a spirit of judgment to him that sitteth in judgment and for strength to them that turn the battle to the gate. A spirit of judgment to him that sitteth in, 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 in judgment and for strength to them that turn the battle to the gate. Ready to fight, ready to stand. He supplies you the strength. By his mercy so far, what held anybody near me has not been able to succeed in holding my life will never because I and you owe the devil. Somebody say amen. amen. Tonight I prophesy the impartation of the spirit of violence. Amen. The last time you saw yourself running and somebody was pursuing you in the dream. That shall be the last forever. Amen. The next time they came, they come near you, you shall waste them. Amen. The next time they come near you, you shall ruin them. Amen. Every level of spiritual violence, every level of spiritual aggression, every level of forcefulness, you need to bury the devil and his agenda. It's released upon you now. Amen. You are saying, Amen, shout it like a believer. Shout a louder, believers. Amen. Amen. The last time you suffered calamity Amen. shall be the last. Amen. Take your seat. So, number one, receive the word. Number two, believe the word. Number three, reject the lie. Number four, resist the enemy. And number five, submit. To the mantle of your prophet. Submit to the mantle of your prophet. Hosea chapter 12 verse 13. And by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. Egypt is captivity. And by a prophet was he preserved. By a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. By a prophet. Your prophet does three things in your life. Number one, the mantle of the prophet tackles the battle of the people. The mantle of your prophet tackles the, it, it tackles the battle of the people. Number two, your prophet, the mantle of the prophet is key to escape from captivity. You escape captivity by the mantle of the prophet. That is where the devil kept you. You come out of it by the mantle of your prophet. Are you ready for this? See one word my prophet said to me. It, and, and I have said it to you now. See, you are not from there. Whew. The mantle of your prophet is key to escape from captivity. And thirdly, the mantle of your prophet is key to access to destiny. Where God wants you to go, you get there 
by the mantle of the prophet. Don't just be a churchgoer. Be a son in the house. Be a daughter indeed. Don't be a number. Am I communicating? If you ask my father in the Lord now, who is Paul and nature to you? He said, my beloved son. That word. We have spoken twice today. Well, if, if, if we are not able to speak as frequently as I speak with him, keep growing. You may grow into it. <laughs> but the most important thing is that your heart is intact. I wish him well, wish his wife well, wish his children well with all my heart. If you touch him, I touch you. It's my covenant. Be a son indeed, a daughter indeed. The worst, the worst person, the last person to talk against my father to is me. The last, the last and the worst. You can't even see my face and be able to articulate anything to my hearing. Can't happen. Not in the dream. That is how mantles benefit people. The person you are comfortably criticizing says you are blessed. You say amen. That amen is a curse on your head. Am I communicating? This is very, very important. You cannot, you are not permitted to be tested by the riverside. You can't be dry in the climate of oil. From all over the world, people are profiting from this oil. As I'm talking now, millions are connected from America. Do you know what happened? My wife asked me to go somewhere today. It was um, a shopping place just to take a look at some things for the sake of what is going on, where we are. And as I stepped in there, the whole place almost shut down. A man was doing something, a promotion. He said he's a DJ with uh, something FM. He announced my name in a public shopping mall. He said, so and so person is around. Ay, 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 ay. People rush from everywhere. <laughs> snap, snap, picture, 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 picture. All manner. Pray for me. Ah, I'm seeing you in person. There are times that somebody may be so near you, you don't know their value. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If I follow invitations, you won't see me here for two years. Maybe I'll try it one day. Yes, I was invited to, invited in Japan and America and everywhere and I follow. And I am there. You won't see me. Please, when we go to the Lost Garden, let's try it. No, I will preach on video. Listen to me. Many people didn't see this pastor one-on-one. -on -one. All they dreamt was a dream. Altars in their father's house caught fire. They got married for the first time. Barrenness died by virtue of a supernatural mantle's impartation. Please, your case will never be an exception. I prophesy from my heart, your case will never be an exception. Be upstanding as I speak this, as I close up. Your, papers. your case will never be an exception. In every prophetic place, there are three groups of people. Are you ready for this? Number one, 
number one, let me start from people that are unchanged. They are there. They are happy to be there. That is our church. That pastor is my pastor. Um, wow. In our church, they used to say there shall be no loss. In our church, we used to sing new song every Sunday. In our church, the pastor, eh, if you see how his leg can move and dance, eh? in fact, one reason why I go to that church is to just see whether he will dance, dance, dance. They are just there for the, just for the sake of record. They are around. 10 years, 50 years. Value in their heart for the unction, low. Value for the person of the unction carrier, low. Just there. That is number one. Number two are people that are changed. Now, the first group are the company of the sons of the prophets. You remember the sons of the prophets? The ones that were there with Elisha and uh, with Elijah and they're telling Elisha, do you know your, your, your... They were so prophetic, they had revelation. Elijah didn't tell them that God was taking him. God told them himself. They saw it and they were telling Elisha, yet they couldn't get the man to. Elisha said, I know it. Hold your pistol. The first group are the sons of the prophets. The second group are the Elisha company. Those who are tenacious and pertinacious. No. Whatever this man has that I lack, I must have it. Whatever is upon this mountain, upon this altar, that, that, uh, that, that I can see, I must have it. Any testimony that anybody has ever shared in this church that I desire, I must have. I didn't do anything. I didn't do God anything and I didn't do anything so I must have it. People that are chained. That is where you belong. That is where we belong. I went close to my prophet and I sucked out of his life as much and I'm still dragging dry. Number three. There are people that are cursed. Yeah. Some are unchanged. Not, not, they didn't, nothing cost them. They are just normal. They are there. There are those that are changed. And then there are those that are cursed. That is the Gehazi company. They came and left with leprosy. Those are the people that do not value the principles of the prophet. Those are the people. Gehazi talked against the prophet to Naaman that which was not true. He said the leprosy of Naaman cleaved to you. Whether you like it or not, this, is, this happens in all prophetic companies. There are people that will never live neutral. My counsel to you is, you may be a good person, but beware of being recruited. Korah, Data, and Abiram recruited themselves and some quote-unquote powerful people to stand against Moses. All of them ended in the same partition. When I was an unbeliever, I didn't talk against pastors. That is what I didn't know. So today when I see people talking against men of God in the name of being unbelievers, I can't fathom it. I can't. Am I communicating? Say, so and so person did this. Uh, so and so person said this. So and so person, who does he think he is? Uh, uh, Pastor Adebo, Bishop Yedepo. So and so and so. In the name of being unbeliever. Why don't you face your life? And allow the person who called the man to deal with him. And that 
that is taken further to people even inside church. There are those who talk against pastor even while he is preaching in churches. Say, so look at what he said. What a curse. You are the one to determine where you belong. People, a person that is unchanged, a person that is changed, or a person that is cursed. There are cursed people today that appear normal. But the curse is in process. Leprosy doesn't kill instantly. This is the point. Open your heart. Be real, be neat, be clean. Simplicity and sincerity of a child to receive from God. If that anointing never set anybody free, why not me, Lord? I believe in that grace. I believe in that oil. I love that grace. I love that oil. I value it. I cherish it. I pray for it. And you have shown me that this is my prophetic center. Let it change my life. Whatever I need to do to experience a change of life, Lord, show it to me. Whatever I need to do. And you run far from whatever will destroy you. That is why I asked you to come tonight. And I almost pleaded with you to be here tonight. So I have a lot of text messages all the time. Different problems. So many. We are these girls, not married. We are this, none. But today is the end of it. Today is the end of it. Who are the changed people under this prophetic cover? The people that are either changed already or getting changed or must be changed. You are in, in that category. Lift your hands and your voice and begin to appreciate God. Lift your hands, lift your voice, appreciate him. Be upstanding everywhere you are. Upstanding. And lift your voice. Le perana gayana mahashani na nahashash. Le ketini minegalayada hasanista. Lift your voice and speak to God. Lift your voice and speak to God. Lift your voice and speak to God. Lift your voice and speak to Him. Honor Him, adore Him, worship Him. What a mighty God we serve. What a wonderful Savior we have. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Leke timi na galagayani gagalaya do solo lo brodo do sania. Ike pele managalana satola baraya. Lift your voice and worship him. Lift your voice and honor him. Lift your voice and adore him. Lift your voice and magnify him. He is the ancient of days. He is the lily of the valley. He is the rose of Sharon. Jehovah Mekadesh. Jehovah Karen Yesha. Jehovah Olamore. Medshak Israel. Lift your voice. Lift your hands. Magnify him. Worship him. Honor him. Adore him. Glorify him. Itagalaya Hashanana. Lete Kesige de Belaya Barada Hashada. Lete Teke Sinimina Gagalaya de Arash. Lete Fete Kesiki Lababayana Nasha. Give him the praise. Give him the honor. Give him the adoration. Give him the worship. Give him the glory. Worship him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you, Master. In Jesus' precious name. Lift up your two hands everywhere you are. Lift your hands higher. 
and say after me say lord jesus lord jesus i come before you today 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 to surrender myself to you today i thank you for your goodness and your mercy thank you because by virtue of creation by virtue of creation my deliverance, my deliverance is mandatory, is mandatory. By, virtue by virtue of the abrahamic of covenant, the abrahamic covenant. My, deliverance my deliverance is mandatory, is mandatory. By, virtue by virtue of the prophetic, of the prophetic. My, deliverance my deliverance is mandatory, is mandatory. By, virtue by virtue of redemption, of redemption. My, deliverance my deliverance is mandatory, is mandatory. i come before you today i, you I receive your word i believe your word and i reject I the lie of the devil and to Day, I, resist I, resist I resist the enemy. I resist the enemy. I resist the enemy. I resist the enemy. Now, open your mouth and pray. Yes, no. I resist the enemy. I resist the enemy. I resist the devil. I resist the enemy. I resist the enemy. I resist the enemy. Today, in the name of Jesus, Satan, you have no place in my life. Thank you, Master. In Jesus precious name very soon we are going to make demands on the prophetic mantle father I demand upon the mantle on your servant that that mantle will terminate my battle that that mantle will bring me out of captivity it is the same way like Elisha said where is the Lord God of Elijah I make demands on the God of my father take me to my destiny that's right something is already happening but before we go there I'm going to do two things that's right something is already happening um, I'll be deploying that mantle tonight some of you will have very strange encounters tonight but before we go there the Bible said if I regard iniquity in my heart the Lord will not hear me anywhere you are today and you are in need of surrender you want Jesus to be Lord over your life you want today to mark a new day for you. Pick up your Bibles. Pick up your bags. And quickly rush to the front here. Pick your Bibles and your bags and say, Pastor, I don't want tonight to pass me by. I want my sins forgiven. I want Jesus in my life. I want today to mark a new day for me. Pick up your Bibles and pick up your bags. And step forward quickly. And let us pray for you. I live for Jesus. Day after day. I live for, for Jesus. Jesus. Let, Let come what me. may. The Holy Spirit. I will obey. obey. Keep coming. I, I live, live for, for Jesus. Jesus. Day after day. I live for Jesus. I live for, I live for Jesus. Jesus. Day after day. Day day after day. day. Jesus. 
Jesus. Day I live for Jesus. I live for Jesus. I live for Jesus. I live for Jesus. Let go of it. Day after day, I live for Jesus. Day after day, I live for Jesus. Let go of me, the Holy Spirit. I will obey. I live for Jesus. Day after day, I live for Jesus. I live for Jesus. Day after day. I live for Jesus. Let go of me. The Holy Spirit. I will obey. I will obey. I live for Jesus. Two more times. I live for Jesus. I live for Jesus. Day after day. I live for Jesus. Let go of me. Place your right hand on your chest and say after me, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of help. Come into my life today, make me a new person. Today, I have decided to follow you, Lord. No turning back from today, I go forward ever, backward never. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. I pray for you today. I declare the hold of sin broken off your life. Grace to live for God is released upon you. And I call it done in Jesus' name. Give the Lord the praise for them. Counselors, please help me. Talk to them. The sister in the crutches, let her sit nearby so that she doesn't go all the way down. And if you have seat for all the people, if there is, otherwise you can quickly counsel them and re return them back for the prayers. Can we be up on our feet? Let me have the prayer point. I think that I'll just take it at once for the sake of the time. We're going to pray for Nigeria just um, a few minutes and then after we have done that we shall make demands on the prophetic mantle. Lift your right hand and say, Father in the name of Jesus and by the wisdom from above move this nation forward in all areas thereby restoring her lost dignity. Now, the Bible said in Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 30, it said, I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it, but I found none. I sought for a man. I found none. How many of you say, Lord, here am I? I am standing in the gap deliver our land. Now, lift your hands again and say, Father, Father in, the in the name of Jesus and by the wisdom, by the wisdom from, above, from above, move this nation, move this nation forward, forward in all areas, in all areas thereby restoring her, her lost dignity. Say, Father, Father in, the in the name of Jesus, send us help send us from, from above, above that will culminate in progress, in progress and, development and development of this nation. Of this nation. In the name of Jesus, in name of Jesus. Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, Arise and defend the oppressed in Nigeria so the land can be liberated from all forms of injustice. Father, in the name of Jesus, enthrone the reign of justice and equity in Nigeria so as to secure her glorious destiny. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring all the wicked to justice in this nation, thereby establishing our lasting peace. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the enthronement of justice in all the affairs of this nation, thereby establishing peace and prosperity in the land, in the name of Jesus. Father, by the blood of Jesus, deliver Nigeria from 
from all forms of illegality, thereby restoring our dignity as a nation. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your peace reign in Nigeria by all means as you silence all perpetrators of unrest in the land. Father, in the name of Jesus, give us leaders in this nation that will usher the nation into greater realms of peace and prosperity. Father, do all this for us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Pray. Open your mouth and speak to God. 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 Let us say, Minagalaya has sanash. Let Ferenini Minagalaya da Sidish. Let Fedini Minagalaya Gadayadasa. Let Fedina Managalis Telefedis Telefedis Peter Amiga Peter Amiga La Gabarani Gagalaya de Arish Le Ferretini Minagalaya de la Hassanish Le Tefetene Minoga La Gayada Gayadash Mesta Leda Bara Nagadidas Bara Nagadidas Televerina Managayaranis Le Teferina Managadis Talavash La Catele Bebena Mamanasta La Teferina Ina mama naga la gaya dasta, lete fete keke sini mina gaga elas, lete ferina mama naga di galayaris, lete fete keti ne me menosa, kete menosa la babara nasa, lete fere ne me ne mama ela ela hasari nis, leke fina mama naga gaga laras, leke ferina gaga dala gaga ya dasta, kele ne me mere de gadi la gaga ya dis, le ferina mama naga gaga laras, lete fete keke keke sini na mana. La memena gagali ala hasas Eta ladis Eta ladis ke fina mamananas Lete fina mamana gagaladis Lete fina mamana gagaladis Lete kalina mamana gagaladis aladas Lete fere ne mino bosa 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 Ele fere ne mino gagali aras Lete ferina mamana gagayadis Let Fina Manana Gagayaris, let Fina Mamana Gagayaris, let Tina Mamana Gagayara, let Ferina Manana Gagayaris, let Ketele Berana Hasadis, let Ketefina Manana Gagayaris, let Fenina Manana Gagaladis, let Keteke Beroni Gagadisha, let Keteke Beroni Gagadisha, let Keteke Beroni Gagadisha, let Tina Mamana Gagayaris, let Tefete Siniala, let Koda Paranina. Teleferidis, Lekida, Soparani, Teledemidas. Yes, Lord. The Lord has answered us in Jesus' precious name.